So today we're talking about celebrity perfumes and which ones are actually worth the money because although they're usually quite cheap, some of them are not so good. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica Chohan on this channel we talk about perfumes so if you want to hear about the latest launches, about cheap perfumes, about expensive perfumes, definitely subscribe to this channel. I have bought some fragrances that were horrible horrible this year but these were the creme de la creme. So the first one that I want to recommend to you guys uh, with celebrity fragrances is actually Ariana Grande Cloud. And I took off the cloud. It's got like, it comes with a holder because it just smelled horrible. So that part, just throw it away because it smells so rank. I don't know why they put it there. And the fragrance itself, it's supposed to be a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And Baccarat Rouge, it's such an expensive fragrance. So this is definitely a great alternative. If you don't want to spend that much money on Baccarat Rouge, or maybe, you want to see if you would like Baccarat Rouge, go and test that one. You can uh, buy it in like boots. You can buy really, I think any drugstore carries it, like carries Ariana Grande fragrances. So check it out if you love it. It's very similar to Baccarat Rouge, just the performance isn't there. But scent wise, it's such a beautiful fragrance. It has got a bit of like a tea like opening. I can smell a bit of like tea when I first um, spray it on, but then it just transforms into this sweet marshmallowy goodness. It's nondescript, like the fragrance in there, it's not like, oh, this is strawberry, this is whatever. It's just like sweet and beautiful, that's what I would say. So if you want to get something just to spray on, just to keep in your bag, and you want to smell expensive, but you don't want to spend much money at all, this is like expensive on a budget. This will make you smell like Baccarat Rouge, like you're spending 300 pounds on a fragrance, but you're only spending like 30 pounds. It's amazing in that sense. And I do actually recommend most of uh, Ariana Grande's fragrances. The one with like the heart, which is like kind of broken. I think it's called Thank You Next. That one is really beautiful too. And they have just launched another fragrance, which is quite similar to The Cloud. They've got um, Sweet Like Candy. That fragrance is really good. So if you want a sweet fragrance, that is celebrity and you want to smell good on a budget, then Ariana Grande is absolutely a place to go and find a fragrance for you. It's amazing for the money. So I really recommend Ariana Grande fragrances. Next celebrity line that I really, really recommend uh, is actually this one. Is uh, This is Elizabeth and Jane Bourbon. And this is one of my favorites. I also like the white version of this fragrance and I don't know if they have discontinued it. I got mine from Fragrance X but sometimes they're not as readily available anymore so I don't know if they're like trying to discontinue them. If you can get yourself a sample, uh, I've heard that TK Maxx also sometimes sells them. This is a really good scent. This kind of the bourbon, it's a bit similar to Eau Duel by Diptyque. So if you love that fragrance, you might absolutely love this one. But this one is a bit more woody, I would say, and it's a bit more unisex rather than being a bit more leaning towards the female uh, side. So if you like woody fragrances, um, spicy, um, just beautiful vanillas, then this might be a fragrance for you. And this really doesn't smell cheap. This smells expensive. This smells like a niche fragrance, but at a price point that is much lower. The bottle also is awesome. Like it's really unusual and I like how it looks kind of like a lighter. I think it's called a lighter. Uh, it's quite cool. And 
I think it's supposed to smell quite unisex and quite cool. I feel like Elizabeth, uh, not Elizabeth, that's their sister, Ashley and Mary-Kate Olsen, they are really cool. Like, I don't know about you, but I used to watch all their movies when they were younger. And I feel like they have come out with a really cool fragrance line. I don't know if I said before that it's their line, but yeah, it's the Olsen Twins line. So this line is really great. They've got also like rollers um, and smaller fragrance samples. So if you want to check them out, then definitely get yourself a sample and see what you think. I wonder what you think. But yeah, really great, expensive smelling, cheaper celebrity fragrance line. Lastly, I want to mention the incredible stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. This fragrance, not only does it come in a luxurious, beautiful packaging, I, I've never seen a drugstore or like a lower price point fragrance come in such beautiful packaging. It comes in a box and then it's got like a little pouch that the fragrance sits in and then it's this, which the bottle itself is beautiful. I think it'll be very ornamental on any dressing table. It's just stunning. The attention to detail, it's beautiful. The only thing, the cup is a bit cheap, but yeah. I got this for 12 pounds, I think, 100 ml. And the fragrance, guys, oh my gosh, it could be a niche fragrance. It could be a fragrance, like if you put a 300 pound uh, price tag on this, I would probably buy it <laughs> because it's just so good. For such an affordable price, it smells very different. It's very unisex. Uh, so again, like when you want that niche fragrance smell, then you usually get fragrances that are a bit more left for your own interpretation. And I feel like this is it. This is very dusty. It's very woody. It's got some sandalwood. It's got some spices in there. It kind of makes me think of like an old library and it's dusty. It's got like leather chairs that are patinaed. It's a bit coconutty. It's very warm and cozy. It's like a big gentlemanly um, chair. Those like, you know, chairs that you would get in an English um, gentleman's lounge or something like that. This smells like that. This smells a bit like smoky. And for the price, I couldn't believe it was that affordable. In general, I also like Lovely from Sarah Jessica Parker. That one is a much more of like a lighter, girlier scent, but it's also very beautiful, especially for like everyday wear. It's very pretty in a classy way. So I recommend that one if you want to smell great on a budget too. And some people say, oh, you can't get cheap um, fragrances that smell great, but I'm totally opposed to that. You can find a really amazing fragrances that just you can get them for a fraction of the price but you can smell so so great so let me know what are your favorite celebrity fragrances that you enjoy maybe you can leave some tips for the people watching this video and uh, let me know what other videos you would like to see from me remember if you love a fragrance just wear it no matter what the marketing team are telling you or what i'm telling you even and i'll see you in the next one guys <laughs>